Welcome to this really quick summary of how to use Galileo to find inter or to find scholarly research. And of course, scholarly research in our class means journal articles, chapters in books published by university presses, or full books uh, by a single author, also known as monographs, also published by university presses. So to start, uh, log in to Galileo. If you're off campus, you'll need this semester's password. But once you get here to this screen, you could just start and search into this box, but the databases that are available by default aren't uh, as precise in what they collect uh, as some of the other databases uh, that are more useful for this class. So if you type, or sorry, if you click on databases A to Z and then search for communication, you'll find Communication and Mass Media Complete, which is an excellent database for our class. Once you're here, you can also use the Choose Databases to quickly add others. Academic Search Complete is a general but also very good uh, place to look. The MLA M International Bibliography um, is also something that very often has articles that are relevant to the kinds of things that we're searching or that we're studying in this class. Uh, the religion and philosophy collection might be appropriate depending on your uh, area of interest. Humanities uh, also. We'll talk more about full text later and basically you should avoid the temptation to search only for full text. Uh, but again, I'll focus on that a little bit later. For now, let's just start with these three databases, Academic Search Complete, Communication Mass Media Complete, and the MLA International Bibliography. So uh, if I, for example, was interested in learning more about Korean hip hop uh, after I saw Gangnam Style, I could simply type Korea uh, hip hop into the search box and click search and I would get 15,717 results. But I also see a note that says the additional search, initial search query didn't yield any results. So they found some things based on my keywords. I think what I discover here uh, is that in some cases we've got Korean versus Korea. Uh, and in some places we see things like K-Rock. So as I said in class, searching is in many ways like fishing. You have to figure out what the best bait is to catch the kinds of things that you're seeking to catch. Sometimes hip hop is spelled with a hyphen, sometimes it's not. So to be extra careful, uh, it would be a very good idea to search for both of those terms as well as Korea and Korean. But this looks like a good one. Uh, it's interesting to me. Uh, the Poetics of Resistance and the Politics of Crossing Borders, Korean Hip Hop and Cultural Reterritorialization. Uh, so I can read the abstract here to get a little better sense of exactly what it's all about. Uh, and if it is indeed something that I'm interested in, uh, then I can add it to my folder, uh, which is a very handy but also sometimes uh, frustrating tool built into uh, Galileo. So add to folder right there. This is in Billboard, which is not a scholarly source. Uh, so if I want to clear out some of the clutter, I can go over here and select peer review journals only and update. I could also select full text and then Galileo would show me only the things that are available in uh, complete full text immediately from within this website. I don't want to do that because there's a lot of stuff that isn't available uh, directly from Galileo, but you can very quickly and easily request that our library get a copy of it, even if it's not immediately available in full text or Galileo. So I've got this one in my folder, which is right there. Um, let's see, Globalization, African American Vernacular, English and Popular Culture, Blinglish and Korean Hip Hop also sounds interesting, so I add it to my folder, and that one I see does have full text. If I was doing this for real, I'd probably go ahead and copy that or save it to my hard drive. And then I just move through and see what is useful and what not, might not be. 
Um, this often takes a good long time, but for the purposes of our um, of this tutorial, I'll simply stop here and show you show you what you can do with the folder. Once you've got these things selected in the folder, you can go to Folder View, and then you can save the file. You can email it directly to you. You can ha ask it to print it. Uh, I'm going to save the file, and what it can do is remove these items from the folder after saving. I probably don't want to do that. I want to leave them in my folder. The folder won't persist, meaning once you log out of Galileo, you won't be able to get back to it, which is why saving these things is so important. But one thing that's nice is that you can change the citation format to the citation or to the format that we'll be using for our class, which is MLA, and then click Save. What you see here is that in order to save this file, you actually need to save the file. So in the browser, use File Save As, and in Firefox it says Save Page As, uh, and then. I save it into the appropriate place. And then I've got these citations. This one. Oh, sorry, these two citations. Uh, in more or less uh, correct MLA format, of course, I need to go back and check that including uh, telling me which databases uh, they came from, either Academic Search Complete or MLA, International Bibliography in this case. And now I've got two sources that I can follow up on. Now, one of them was available in full text, which was great, uh, but the second one wasn't. Uh, and as I said, there's a quick way that you can get these kinds of sources, and I'll uh, focus on that in the second tutorial.